up guys welcome to the sport update my name is Giovanni welcome to another video so we have three topics for you guys today we're going to go right into them no wasting time today so Milic coming to Napoli as a new striker Napoli and Della 5-0 win from Napoli I'll cover that and Diawada transfer news as well um so let's go right into Milic I'm not even going to pronounce his first name I cannot do it I don't want to butcher it and make it sound terrible I think they call him Adek so I'm going to call him Adek Milic all right um so he's a new striker after Gonzalo Higuain has left to Juventus um He's coming from Ajax for a fee of between 25 to 30 million euros, I believe. I don't know the exact amount, so it's it's in that range though. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it at that. He's coming from Ajax, where he scored 21 goals in 31 appearances, which is not bad at all. I'll take 20 goals from him this season. I really will. Um, I'm not expecting 30 goals. I'm not expecting 36 goals. Definitely not that. Um, but yeah, 21 goals in 31 appearances for them, and he scored 11 goals in 31 appearances for Poland as well. And um, I think he scored a goal in, in the Euros this, this summer, too. He played for Poland as well. Uh, the guy's 22 years old. He's very young, so he has some upside, hopefully, you know, potential to grow to be even better player than what he is already. He's, I believe, 6'1", so he's pretty tall. Hopefully some header goals. Um, I watched some highlights from the guy um, a few hours ago. Obviously, highlight videos only show you, like, the positive. Um, you know, we don't they don't show you the bad parts of a player, but, you know, he looks like he can do a lot. He had some some great assists. He looks like he can he can set up some other people in the box. Um, Higuain did some of that, so we need some of that as well. Um, and he looks like he can create some chances for himself. So all looks promising. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't seen much of the player, so I'm going off what I saw in a video. Obviously, there's going to be moments where he's not going to do well, but we're going to just hope he comes and does well. Um, I want to see what you guys think below. Watch some highlight videos. The guy looks pretty good. Um, he, I, I saw a free kick goal. I, I've seen um, some very, very good goals with his left foot as well. I'm not really sure if he's lefty or not, but yeah, uh, awesome stuff. So he's already arrived in Napoli. He's passed his medicals, and he's signing on Monday. So Milic is our next striker, guys, all right? So going into the friendly now, moving on from Milic, Napoli versus Virtus Intella. I Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It was a 5-0 win from Napoli. Um, I'm going to show you some highlights actually right now, so hopefully you guys enjoy those. Um, I'm going to show you, I think, three of the goals. But the first goal was a terrible mistake by their goalie, so I'm not going to show that. That was the 1-0. One, one I think that's what halftime was actually. So uh, in the second half, though, two goals from Jason Mertens. This first one I'm going to show you right now, as you'll see playing on the screen, a, a kind of a long-range goal. I don't know. It was like a kind of a dinker. The ball looked like it dipped, and it hit the post and went in. So... Nice goal, though, from long range from Mertens. And the second goal, which I won't show, um, I believe it went off of a defender on a corner or a cross in, and, and Mertens was there, slotted home. So two goals from him, great. You know, he's going to be a big part of our team this year. When the team is not playing, he's going to be providing a lot. Uh, and hopefully he scores some more goals than last year. Um, then we have a goal from Lorenzo Insigne, my favorite player personally from Napoli, the hometown kid. Beautiful goal, as you'll, you'll be seeing now. It was like a chip goal. Um, momentum going the other way. He chips it over the goalie. Goalie gets a hand on it, but not enough to, to keep it out of the net, and it goes in. So beautiful goal from Insigne. We need to we need a lot of out of him again this year, um, especially with Iguain not there anymore. And then the last goal, which I'll show you, partially because of Insigne's assist. Um, David Lopez scored a goal. Insigne, beautiful assist, put it right on his foot. Uh, Lopez with the, the first touch, you know, sets himself up for a nice goal, slots it home past the goalie. So those are... Uh, those are three goals I showed you with a 5-0 win, though. So, great warm-up. I believe that was the last match we have in Dimaro. They're going back to Castel Vortuno now, and they're going to be playing Nice on Monday, I believe, which uh, will be at the San Paolo. So, another great warm-up, 3-0 friendly so far. Obviously, we haven't faced that, that great of competition, but either way, um, it's good stuff and good things to see from Napoli. Um, I don't think they've allowed a goal yet either, so that's always good that we're not conceding against mediocre teams. And then some last piece of news. We're at four minutes, so not bad. Diawara, 19 years old, I believe he is. He's very young, and he started for Bologna last year a lot. Um, and we're looking to get him, and um, I believe it was Bayern that was after him as well before they signed Sanchez. Hopefully I'm not getting that wrong. But a big club was looking at him, so he's got to be good. He has a lot of potential. He's going to grow into uh, a great player when he gets older. Hopefully if he keeps going at this rate. I believe he's a, he's a Regista type player, um, but we have an issue. All right, we we were gonna get him. Looks like Napoli was gonna sign the guy, but we can't sign him until Valdefiori leaves the team. I don't know who who's who's saying it. I don't know if this is like 
De Laurentiis doing this. I don't know if it's just I don't know what what Napoli's doing because we we don't want to buy him without selling Valdifiori first, which to me is just outrageous. Because if we let Valdifiori stop us from buying a player like Diawara who can grow into such a big player or a good a great player, then we're literally a joke in this league. Because how how are you gonna let that happen? We let Iguain go. We don't know what Kuli is gonna do. I don't think he's gonna leave. Hopefully not. But do you really are you really gonna let Valdifiori who you don't let you know you know you're gonna not let us get a great player, a great young player, because you want to sell a player first. What if what if Diawara doesn't want to wait and he just goes somewhere else? I don't know. It's terrible. In my opinion, it just boggles my mind and it doesn't make any sense. So I want to hear what you guys think about that. I'd say just buy him, then sell Valdifiotti, because Torino is already in talks with a uh, Brazilian club for this player called Edson, and if they buy Edson, they're not going to buy Valdifiotti. And then what? If we don't sell Valdifiotti, we're not getting Diawara. You know, um, I don't know. I'm talking fast. It just makes me very upset to hear that. So we're at the six minute mark. So I'm going to end it here. Those are your three pieces of information for this video. Um, again, right before I end this, please go check out SSCN America. Thank you guys for 400 followers. That's awesome. My friend Daniel really does good at being inter interactive with that page and getting all you guys involved. So please hit that a following. Also go check uh, Sempre Podcast. James and his friend posted their first episode um, for their podcast this week. I believe on Tuesday, it was a great podcast. Go check it out. Talking about Higuain and some other stuff as well. So yeah, go check those two things out. And always, as always, please subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 500. So if we hit that, that'd be great, guys. And again, appreciate all the support for the last few videos. It's been awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the few highlights in this video. Hopefully, I don't get copyright, but try to do it for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Giovanni out. Forza Napoli sempre. Ciao.